we started out as a hobby for my dad. So when I was in high school, my dad said, uh, let's start planting trees. So we started gathering seeds, any seed actually. And it became an obsession of planting and keep, just keeping on planting on different kinds of trees. So as long as we manage and uh, we, we uh, harvest responsibly, it will continually regenerate itself. People are now starting to ask uh, when they buy wooden products where your wood comes from. Once we start telling the story on where their wood comes from, that's when their interest sparks and that's when they start to buy our products even though they're a little bit more expensive than the others. Uh, the simpler the process, uh, the faster it is and uh, the less mistakes you can make from it. So uh, that's where we uh, try to tailor our manufacturing to the capabilities of the local community. Anyone who, would, who is willing to work will be able to work here. That's uh, how simple we're trying to make our manufacturing. Yeah. To give uh, opportunity to these people who have uh, limited opportunities elsewhere because of uh, their backgrounds and their educational attainments. Yeah, as a family, we're a generation of farmers. We gave importance to the kind of wood that we use. So uh, like we use uh, mostly Honduras mahogany and teak. And most people here typically uh, mill the logs with their chainsaw. So we tried it out with the chainsaw. <laughs> a lot of wastage and a lot of planing afterwards because it was not straight. We either had a choice between staying with the chainsaws or going with the band saws. That's when we decided on the wood miter. We just got the smallest, mo uh, cheapest mill that we can find. And uh, it's pretty easy to teach to someone how to use a wood miser because like, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, the operation is simple, uh, maintenance is simple. We can mill uh, things from two and a half to three inches. So we just uh, mill one side of it, cut it into lengths, bore a hole through it, sand it, clean it up, lacquer, then it's a candle holder. Most of our product lines come, come from customer suggestions that we just tweak a little bit. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, they work. Yeah. We focus mostly uh, on um, something uh, usual, like uh, serving boards, uh, ch chopping boards, cutting boards. I used to work in Manila. So that's stressful. And when I had a little savings, I put up a small cafe. That was also stressful. I'm a creative person, like I, before going to woodworking I drew a lot and uh, I do a lot of artworks, pieces. So this is uh, like a different medium for me. Why sustainability? It's simple. My dad planted so that I can harvest. And I should keep on planting so my next generations can still harvest and continue, continue harvesting trees so that the next generation will still have those materials and those things that can sustain them. Uh, give them livelihood and give, give the future generation livelihood.